Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad you're here because I've got a quandary that I can't seem to solve. I am stumped by this. You see, I've been shooting PRS for a year now, and I really love shooting the 105 hybrid target from Burger. This is my favorite bullet above all. Good BC, light enough that I can drive high velocities and, well, it does what I need without any muss or fuss. Just load it right out of the box and you get the results that you need. But during the great disappearance of 2023, they weren't available, nor was the 109. So it became really hard to get the bullets that I wanted. Enter the 108 boat tail. Now the 108 boat tail is an older design with a tangent ogive, and it is a great bullet, super precise, easy to load develop. I really didn't have to do anything. Just drive that thing out there at any speed and it shot pretty good groups, plenty good enough for PRS. You can tune it to F-Class and Ventress quality without any problem. It has one disadvantage. When you get out past about 1,100 yards out to there to 12, 13, 13 and a half, the BC is low enough that the energy on target is so low that it's really hard to see your hits. As a matter of fact, even your spotter might not see your hits. And that could be bad for your score if they can't tell if you hit the target or not. So I went searching for yet another bullet to scratch the itch. With nothing else available, I chose the 108 Elite Hunter from Burger. Now the 108 Elite Hunter is a 109, sands the pointing and with a lighter jacket. That's what we're told, but it has a somewhat higher BC than the 105 does. You'd expect that with a slicker design and a little more weight. You're, you should have a higher BC. I mean, that's normal. That's what we expect, but that's not what I found because I always test my bullets. I start by testing them at 600 yards during load development. I shoot them paired up with my standard bullet, the 105 Hybrid, because I know the BC on it is accurate. And I just compare the velocity loss over 600 yards to the electronic target. Now, electronic target velocities are not super accurate, so I take it with a grain of salt to a certain extent. But the odd part is when I shot these into the same group together, I got the same velocity loss over 600 yards. And I thought, ah, I must be doing something wrong here. There's something wrong with the electronic target or there's something wrong with my chronograph or there's something else wrong because they can't have the same BC. They have the same Matplot diameter and this one's heavier and it has a slicker design. It doesn't make any sense. So I decided to take my problem to the next PRS match and see if I could figure it out during sight-in day. Well, getting out to the Blue Ridge range out in Benj, Washington, we had a wonderful sight-in day. They have targets all the way out to 15 or 1600 yards that I could see from where I was. At least that's what my rangefinder said they were. And I got a chance to do some comparison shooting. At 1200 yards, the come up was about half a mil short of what I needed. When I back calculate it, knowing the velocity with great precision and knowing that the clicks on my scope are accurate because I've tested them, I had to reduce the BC in my Kestrel to match the 105 hybrid target. And then everything matched up. It matched up at 600 yards, 700 yards, 800 yards, 1,200 yards. At 1,600 yards, we couldn't see where we were impacting. There was just too much mirage, so there was no way to tell for sure. Plus, that's beyond the transition. So we don't want to try taking a super slick bullet through the transition and try to figure out what it's doing out there. In the end, I have a quandary here. The 108 Elite Hunters have the shape that should have a higher BC. They have the weight that should have a higher BC. And yet, out of this, Hawk Hill, one and seven and a half twist barrel, chambered by Keith Weil, a KW Precision. They don't. You know, I've been using Keith for a while as my gunsmith. That was just for you, Keith. The 109 does. The 110 A-tip does. As a matter of fact, both of those match their box numbers. The 105 hybrid target matches its box numbers. The 108 boat tail matches its box numbers when I test it. And they are all accurate relative to each other. But the 108 Elite Hunter and this barrel do not match. I don't know what's going on. I can't figure it out. So if you would, leave me a comment below what you think might be causing the problem. Because this bullet is super precise. I love how it shoots out of the rifle. It even earned me the highest finish I've ever had in PRS this last weekend. The difference in BC has me scratching my head. Until next time, shoot straight. Test your BC because it does make a difference. Especially when you're shooting unknown ranges. And I'll see you in the next video.